and good chilly morning to you guys. We're going on a little adventure. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in Albany, Oregon, a city I've never spent any time in. We're gonna use uh, Roxy to get around here before we head on south. So we're starting over here near Bowman Park in Albany. And uh, this homeowner just uh, could not adhere to the HOA rules. <laughs> As you can see, he built a house out of spray foam and it looks like a volcano with wildlife. Lots of wildlife. It does say no trespassing on their property, so we'll stay here on the sidewalk. And uh, there's the side of the building. <laughs> That's pretty weird, huh? You can build a whole house out of spray foam and make it anything you want. <laughs> I like it. Okay, it also looks like Steve Fletcher is the founder of Spray Foam, and uh, he may have had some other influence here in the city of Albany as well. Well, look at those blackberries. These guys are ripe for the picking. Look at those blackberries. Woo! One of you guys reminded me when I was back home about spraying them because they're, they're, they're weed in Washington State and other places, and maybe you don't want to eat them right off the vine anymore. Maybe not. Let's keep riding. I really like how the whole town of Albany seems to have embraced Steve Fletcher's spray form technique. This is a possum auto body and they have, oh, a nice handy little possum here. It's gonna be doing some uh, air, airbrush painting, I think. Is that what we call that? Yeah, yeah. Right on, that, that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. So Steve Fletcher's largest spray foam piece is here at South Pacific Auto Sales. Because what says buy a car more than a huge cowboy and a burro, a donkey? Yeah. Come on in and buy a car, y'all, here in Albany. I like it. You know, I like my quirky. That's a great job. Choices. The old fork in the road. Where to now? It's <laughs> pretty cool, right? I mean, well, let's talk about choices and turns and and routes and stuff like that. Because I did mention in my last video, I was trying to do new stuff as I go on south. You know, east of the Cascade Mountains right now, it is still hot. It's still 90 degrees here. It's almost fall, it's almost autumn, and it's still 90 degrees over there. I don't want to be over there. And, and I've done the coast so many times that I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just kind of enjoying whatever. I'm just, I'm just following, lo looking for fun stuff and chasing good weather. Like, like 70 degrees, that's my motto, right? So I think more than anything, that's what I'm really doing right now is chasing 70 degrees as, as far as a route. Yeah, there's somewhere I want to be on, on Thanksgiving, and, and, and there is one more planned themed trip coming up before 2019 ends, so just stay tuned. Uh, and I may also take more of these little morning rides, and I may not film them all, to be honest. I may just try to take the bike out and smell the fresh air and get 70 miles per gallon and, and feel good in the morning and then get back in the RV, you know? So I may not film every single one of them but I do want to get a full face helmet so I can vlog, mo moto vlog, and kind of talk to you about what kind of crazy stuff we see, you know? I mean, I head on back to the RV. I'm already 16 miles out this morning and we got about 10 miles to get back, load up, load up the bike and, and get on the road. All right, I'm all back here. Ironically, we won't be in that 70 degree range today. Uh, actually, it's gonna be 87 degrees today here in Albany. It's gonna be a hot one. Uh, we're gonna go on south and try to find somewhere to fund a boondock for the day and, and find new stuff, yeah. So, I have been in and filmed in Eugene, Oregon, which is the next city over. I did stop here in Springfield, Oregon. Thankfully, they have free parking downtown here. And some will say that this is actually the inspiration for The Simpsons. I've been in several Springfields uh, around the country, 
and uh, they all have something unique and another a different point to prove that they are they are truly the real Springfield. I'm a big Simpsons fan. There are no cooling towers anywhere near here though. However, I think they're trying to say that this is really the home of Springfield. And proof of that can be found in this ginormous Simpsons mural across the street. Check that out. Marge painting handsome Homer. Homer in a hammock drinking a, a duff. And Maggie and Lisa on a bicycle. And old Bart up to his old tricks. Springfield. What do you think of their efforts? This could be the official home of the Simpsons. Springfield, Oregon. Do. Uh -huh. Can I offer a little tip though, if you're on the road traveling? Uh, when you get to a city that you're not familiar with, Google whatever city you're in, Springfield, Oregon, overnight parking ordinance, hit enter. If you get some documents that come, come back in that search, read them. Because Lacey, Washington is not the only place that is, is uh, banning RVs from the streets. And Springfield, Oregon does have a city ordinance overnight. You're okay to park in the daytime. You can't do that in Lacey, but you can't park overnight here. So that means that urban boondocking in this area is not going to work for me. So we're going to have to find something else. Oh, you know what? Remind me not to go straight when I leave because right across the street is a low clearance. It says 11 foot two over there. And I'm 12 foot two officially, um, which reminds me, let's go back. The uh, black antenna booster that's on the roof, I measured it. It's uh, two inches higher than the air conditioner shroud. Uh, and I know that because uh, I had a piece of wood from the top of the booster with a level on top of the piece of wood. And then I had my buddy on the ground level with a tape measure up to the piece of wood to see exactly and 12.2, uh, but let's go and round it up one inch so that I don't have an, an, an accident, an issue on the road. Uh, Miranda's height is 12.3 and that'll be really important to note next time we are on the east coast where there are a lot more low clearances but i either got to find shade or i got to find an approved spot to to spend overnight so we'll go search It's almost always when I don't have a plan that I end up getting the best possible stuff. I, I don't even know the name of this river. It's not labeled on my Google Earth, but we're, we're waterfront. And you can see that bridge right there. I was just driving this way on there, looked down, saw this piece of little land right here next to the water. And I made the next right-hand turn, came around, parked here and there's no signs indicating what this land is or what it's to be used for, or more importantly, it doesn't say no overnight parking in this area right here. So, it looks like we may have waterfront access for the night, and I couldn't be happier. This is one of those that you kind of have to take a chance with. Um, like I said, it doesn't say private property or public property or anything. It's just... Uh, it's just a little turnout on the road. And despite the road noise, actually, that doesn't bother me at all. It bothers some people. Some people can't stay at rest areas. 
I've heard people tell me, Eric, how do you do that with the trucks rolling in and out all day and the air brakes going out and generate? I wear earplugs if I have to. <laughs> like, I, I embrace this life and know that you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. This might be one of the best spots I've ever boondocked at. I just won't know until I turn the key tomorrow morning and evaluate it, you know what I mean? Let's look at this trail of sorts. It's not really a trail. I, I think it's manageable. <laughs> I made it. It's it's uh, steeper than than it, than it looks and a little slippery, but look at the river. Yes. Ah, oh, I guarantee you, I'm gonna get in now. Later. Well, I mean, it might be because it's so hot outside that this feels so cold. On the other hand, this is a cold river, whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. If I can just get up to my knees for about five minutes. I'll feel cool for the whole rest of the day. And you know what? I am feeling pretty good. This actually turned out to be one of my favorite spontaneous boondocking sites ever in any state. I really lucked out. I like the peacefulness. I like the, the privacy of it to have your own spot. And uh, I got cell service so I can upload a video tonight. Woohoo! Guys, gals, kids, pets, everybody in between, have a great, day. Chex and I will see you back on the road with some awesome travels in a few days. Bye guys.